Hello and welcome to the Insider's Peak for the Rialto Theater in South Pasadena. My name is Escott Norton. I'm the Executive Director of the Los Angeles Historic Theater Foundation. Number one memory that I have heard over and over from people who went to the Rialto as kids is the gargoyle with the red glowing eyes above the proscenium. Number one, that's what people remember. They won't remember anything else about that theater, but they, they, they will ask me, Do that, does that gargoyle's eyes still glow red? Absolutely they do. I've been up there, I changed the bulbs, they still glow red. So a little, little history. It was uh, built in 1924, opened in 1925, October 17th. Uh, the designer was uh, L.A. Smith, who also did the Highland Theater in Highland Park and the Vista Theater, which was opened, I think, as the Bard's Theater in East Hollywood. And I think the final building cost was about $150,000. And uh, it was built as a 1,200-seat house, 800 on the bottom, 400 on the balcony. It had a mighty Wurlitzer, uh, the 216 model. The organ was completely removed. Back in the 1980s, I actually traced it to a collector in San Francisco who had uh, purchased all of these pieces and was rebuilding it in a garage behind his house in San Francisco. Uh, since then, the organ console has been returned to South Pasadena and it's on display at the South Pasadena Preservation Foundation's museum. How come so much of the Rialto hasn't changed in 90 years? I think the last vaudeville shows were probably in the, in the early 40s. They did a, a remodel of the, of the theater, they changed the lobby, they changed the marquee, they changed a lot of the seats back in the 40s. And my guess is at that point, it became a movie theater and everything else just became invisible. So no one noticed the orchestra pit, no one noticed the back the stage and the dressing rooms, the 12 dressing rooms under the, under the stage. That just became invisible storage space. So it's sort of like all the theaters downtown. Why do they, why do they still survive? It's probably because people ignored them for decades. We're rediscovering the Rialto, the potential for the Rialto to be way more than a movie theater. And, uh, you know, thank goodness it was, big, it was ignored. Things are changing for the Rialto Theater with a new owner on board, and we hope to see restoration and reopening of the theater in the near future.